Perth vegan's funny shopping experience that she posted on a private Facebook group has been picked up by the mainstream media and turned into a piece of viral news. Coles sends vegan customer ridiculous substitute for plant-based mints. What's the beef? Vegan Coles shopper who ordered vegan mints online has sent meat as a substitute. How Perth vegan Zoe Callis got caught in viral media storm. Zoe Callis, who was never contacted regarding the original news stories, found herself being publicly vilified, even though she hadn't done anything wrong. The original story goes like this. A couple of weeks ago, Miss Callis ordered some vegan mints from Coles Online. However, Coles had run out. So the supermarket chain, in their infinite wisdom, decided to substitute her plant-based mints for some Harvey premium beef mints instead. Miss Callis posted details of her experience to a private Facebook group for Australian vegans. Somehow, the media got hold of this and started making clickbaity articles about her experience. Even a Chinese language media outlet got hold of it. Unsurprisingly, the trolls came in and started posting their typical one-liners. Toughen up, princess. Only a vegan would kick up this much of a fuss. If she ate meat, she would have had the energy to do her own shopping. Etc. Obviously, there are also the obligatory dim-witted comments from certain individuals saying how they can personally provide Ms. Callis with an extra source of meat in her diet, but these comments were a bit too crude to post here. Ms. Callis, responding to the viral outbreak of her private post, said, It was a closed vegan group for vegans. We share food and talk about vegan things. I didn't realise that it could go public. I wasn't out there sharing this with everyone. I do feel like my privacy has been invaded a little bit because my name, age and image and everything has been put out there. I didn't want to be another angry vegan. I didn't really want to invite that kind of response from people. It's a bit of a laugh. I never said anything wrong or embarrassing. I had a funny shopping experience and I shared it in a group of people that would relate to it. So even if people have taken it out of context and called me an angry vegan or a privileged princess, I still haven't done anything. Curtin University's associate professor, Tama Lever, spoke of the perils of such situations on social media. He said, People are very reactionary and tend to jump down other people's throats without actually checking if something is humour or intended the way it's being read. They do feel like they can just pile on, that they can just attack people because they don't like something they've said. It does remind us that every act of communication is also an act of publication on social media. Associate Professor Lever also commented on the concept of clickbait and the future of journalism. He said, It would be a wonderful world if we had a lot less clickbait. As a reporter, if you can't leave your desk and you've got three hours to file something, then finding a hot button issue Facebook group and screenshotting the most contentious thing said in that group could be the basis for a clickbait story that a lot of people are going to read, react and comment on. It's not really journalism. It is cheap and nasty reporting. It doesn't necessarily cross a legal barrier, but it's an ethical question. Hopefully at some point we'll have better conversations and better literacy about the impact that this can have on other people. My optimistic hope is that there will be a generational shift that will see the people that have grown up with this as their normal thinking that they can do better and produce better norms and better ways of dealing with each other. I've spoken of the perils of social media in previous videos, and my conclusion is that publicly posting anything to social media can be a risky affair. I don't use Facebook for anything of a private nature, I don't have a Twitter account, and I don't like Instagram. And I like it that way. If you use social media, you've got to be prepared that your innocent post today might just end up becoming next week's news story. And then get yourself ready for the army of incoming trolls.